Bangalore grew from past 25 years exponentially and nobody even could uh, understand the pace of growth. So we were on the outskirts but eventually city grew around us. We were where we are and city has actually grown past. Hello and welcome to the show Skill Tree Education Evangelist of India, powered by Great Place to Study. Today we have with us the Managing Director of HKBK Group of Institutions, Mr. C.M. Fez, who is a successful edupreneur. He believes in empowering the youth with good quality education to be better citizens and develop them as skilled resources for the nation. He is a passionate educator and civic leader who has devoted more than 10 years of his life to create a stimulating and thought-provoking mindset among students. Let's welcome in Mr. C.M. Fez, Director of HKBK Group of Institutions. Hello Mr. Fez. Thank you. Hi Mr. Bhagat. Hi, thank you, thank you for coming all the way from Bangalore. Huh? Pleasure. It feels nice. Thanks uh, and uh, thank you for uh, encouraging me and recognizing me as one of the evangelists of uh, education. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, um, uh, what attracted me to this uh, hosting this show was actually that we keep talking about what is wrong cribbing about education system, which is true also, so a lot of thick problems are there. But ultimately, I, I feel like if you only talk and you don't see efforts to actually uh, change things or do something positive and what uh, find solutions, mm -hmm. then it's you are just a ranting uh, right. person, you know, you are not doing anything great. So we thought we should showcase some people who are at least trying right. and make education better for the country. Um, and uh, t before we get into how you are trying, maybe just for the people who don't know, why don't you talk a bit about uh, your institution? So, HKBK Group of Institutions based in Bangalore. Uh, we are established in year 1997. Uh, we are in the field of uh, engineering, management and uh, PUC courses apart from uh, basic sciences as well. Uh, we have a campus, beautiful lush green campus based in the city centre, uh, having uh, students for a multi-dimensional background with 12 nations and uh, students across broader spectrum, multicultural, diverse and uh, it's a wonderful place to be uh, and get yourself uh, educated. Yeah. Now you have how many thousand students? So we have close to about 8,000 uh, students uh, 8, in various students. Uh, students yeah. And it all started 20 years ago, right? Yes, 22 fact, years being precise. 22 years. We have a video about your institution, so maybe we can have sure. a look. Sure. to talk about the placements that our college offers. And I'm extremely proud to say that HKBK Group of Institutions gets in one of the best brands in the industry. And they do claim to have industrial collaborations with multinational companies like Infosys, Wipro, Texas Instruments, Tesco, and many more. HKBK College students had the opportunity to take part in 2020 placements, uh, Google Maps project, Google GPRS projects, and also the scholarships provided by it. Besides academics, our college focuses a lot on cultural events, local traditions. We promote local traditions and local culture, such as uh, dance, music, and other local events. I would like to thank our director, Mr. C.M. Fels, who has given us great opportunities to enhance our knowledge and to explore great opportunities. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's, it's a very green campus. Yeah, but it's pride. still in the middle of Bangalore, is it? It's very much in the heart of the city, uh, just about 4 kilometers from the city centre, that being MG Road. Uh, we are situated very close to the IT hub, uh, the tech park of uh, our uh, belt. Uh, we take great pride, we have an eco green campus and uh, so proud you, about it. The city has grown around the campus or you always were like, I mean, how has it happened that you managed to get this green piece of land in the middle of the city? Interesting question. Bangalore grew from past 25 years exponentially and nobody even could uh, understand the pace of growth. 
so we were on the outskirts but eventually city grew around us we were where we are and city has actually grown past multifold yeah yeah it's never easy to build a business in india anyway and that too in education and with thousands of students and uh, so you, you must have faced some big hurdles which were, which were some of the biggest hurdles you faced and how did you overcome them uh, my opinion being an entrepreneur in any part of the world as a profession uh, or rather entrepreneur it's a tough profession to be you're faced with uh, multiple challenges uh more so if you are in the education sector and being an entrepreneur uh the expectations are quite large uh students have uh, their expectations parents have their dreams and aspirations so uh we have only way of for us to evolve is constantly ensuring be in sync with the society as the requirements of society as on well today and aligning our thought process and requirements for the future uh, needs of our industry and uh, the human uh, society there is uh, a lot of unethical players in the business or in the industry you know so what do you have to say about that and how do you ensure that you know you stay away from all that and still keep your reputation when some others are not so uh, particular about that uh, my opinion i think humans are habituated we are what we do repeatedly and if we act in a honest way we continue to be an honest person so if our practice if our upbringing is of an honest person and i think that will reflect in our work and in our quality of what we do every day so at hkbk we've always thrived dedication determination discipline we want to ensure my institution is a place where i would want my son to study so if i take pride in putting my son and i for my son to study i will ensure all the basics are right and at the same time it's a future oriented institution so if i believe that if my son can study in an institution which is of great importance and great value that's the quality what we are striving for and we constantly work saying that if as a promoter if i am not able to put my son in my institution how can we expect another parent to bring their ward and enroll them there so this has been our approach uh, apart from that uh, what we try and uh, do is uh, a regular education process which is happening which is tried and tested conventional uh, process of examination system which we, uh, we it is already there we are trying to understand how we can unleash a streak of madness and that is passion of an individual and to a great extent we've been successful if we try and work on students passion yeah help them understand what identify what they are passionate about uh, this is where hkbk is pioneering tell me something in your journey is quite an interesting journey and uh, who are some of the people who inspired you uh, for me my greatest inspiration has been my dad and uh, for years i have looked at from where he was the struggle he has taken and yet he never lost focus on his vision and his persistence to deliver and to perform irrespective of whatever challenges he had faced in life my dad had a very clear vision for all his kids he said education is key and he also he i still remember his words he says if i am able to educate one girl from a family it's like i'm educating the whole family and if a family is educated i'm educating the entire society so that has been his motto and he's been working around with that aspect so uh, this is be he's been my greatest inspiration wow I have some message for you related to that some someone special sure. have a look I am head of institutional quality innovation and excellence this is one of the wonderful initiatives under the leadership of sri cm fires Mohammad the director of HKBK College of Engineering under this we are establishing different center of excellences in leading edge technologies and through that we are imparting skill based training in these technology areas so as to make our students to get the skills required for the job they just not get the jobs but they are getting the jobs in niche areas with higher skills in addition to that mini projects and main projects and soft skills also are making them to have much required life skills to lead their 
life wonderfully yeah that's good thank you um, yes. so you have a lot of students now but how are you as a student were you first bench middle bench last bench no bench <laughs> standing on the bench <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, is there any particular school memory okay so i was not academically oriented student i must confess uh, here i was definitely a last bencher and uh, but uh, having said that i was a very obedient polite uh, as a student uh, my teachers had never had a difficulty in terms of my academics uh, i never used to excel or exceptionally perform outperform but uh, uh, my teachers never had a challenge in terms of my obedience dis- attendance politeness uh, loved by my classmates so this ensured that i was around the class but not very participating ensured i had the support of my faculties my teachers uh, my friends so it's it's uh, i mean uh, looking back i think uh, yes i could have studied better i should have focused more on academics and uh, maybe i would have uh, performed and probably some uh, rank here or there uh, could have helped but no regrets I, uh, and my education has been not being in class not being academically i ensured i was more on experiential learning okay so this allowed me to be the person whom i am today but uh, you yeah, you must be working a lot with 7000 8000 uh, uh, you know students and managing a place like that is a lot of work but do you get free time and what do you do for fun and uh, how do you spend your family time i understand your family so why don't you talk a bit about that so of course uh, work is work is tiring work is uh, demanding and uh, does require some amount of sacrifice but my family has been supportive my dad my mom whom i draw great inspiration from uh, they have only ensured that there is a support system there uh, my wife i am really blessed to have uh, a wife like her whom uh, been with us for many been with me for many years and uh, she has ensured that my kids are actually not getting neglected or not the time amount which i am able to not spend so apart from that i ensure during my weekends uh, i spend a lot of time with my kids uh, we play occasionally golf uh, they both both my kids uh, the two elder ones are golfers the younger the third one is too young to even get in so we do spend time playing golf on weekends and uh, i make it a point that in a year two holidays completely be it could be a village it could be somewhere a different location but a week at least is completely taken off to keep pace or make up for the lost uh, time yeah uh, my last question is you emphasize a lot on making young minds the pioneers of change so how does the institution actually do that like you know what what measures do you take that some of that happens at hkbk our education approach is more towards student centric and society centric so we've always looked at education is not learning of certain syllabus or subjects education is nurturing minds to adapt to change ever evolving ambiguous uncertain environment students have to be in a position to change with regard to the changing dynamics so i have never doubted a small group of thoughtful uh, powerful individuals can change uh, the way the country works and indeed that's the only thing which has ever happened so my approach uh, to education is we encourage our mentor our students to be uh, future oriented thinkers uh, celebrators of today and very importantly defenders of truth okay uh, these are i think non compromisable things which we have to ensure our society builds on these ethos uh, if we are able to build a society which these ethos i think education will reform and it's going the right direction thank you so much for coming one last thing we just take a picture on the wall there that's sure. a ritual and i'll give you a memento but thank thanks you. so much for coming and you. sharing your wonderful thoughts thank you thank, thank you, you so much thank you take care It's time to wrap up the show for now. But we promise to bring you another evangelist with another inspiring story on our sets very soon. Until then, keep watching Skill Tree Education Evangelist of India, powered by Great Place to Study, streaming on forbesindia.com. This is me, Chetan Bhagat, signing off for today. 
Take care.